and show shift T. Guys, this was the shortest, the shortest intro we've had in months. Hey, excuse we should be happy about this. Chat. I'm going to McDonald's. Do you want anything? Almost two years. Welcome to Planet Zoo. Thanks for joining us. Just a few small steps away from experiencing the world, Planet Zoo. Create my avatar. XQC gift XQC gift XQC gift XQC gift. The fuck? Yeah. Mm. Well, all this hair looks like shit. This is fine. There you go, chat. Looks just like me did Pog. Only four pence? Chat, is this not good? Yeah, I can't change the nose, dude. Jesus, this chat. This sounds fun. Guys, my avatar is popping off. Wait, 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 hold up. We need to choose our place. Chat, where do we live in? Same chat. How are you? Morocco, Greenland. Greenland? Greenland's pretty cold, dude. That's Iceland. No, that's Greenland. Okay, he was in the UK. One year anniversary, so I want to say Badra is double <laughs> and moist salt is a furry. XQCL tone. Okay. Career franchise challenge. Eyes of the tiger. Career. What is the career in zoo management? First steps. <laughs> Stately homeschooling, Goodwin House tutorial. Hey, what to do it? Oh, that's the UK, bitch! That literally is the UK. What are you talking about? into the Planko language. <laughs> it's good to finally meet you in person. Me too, I'm Bernard. Although I insist you call me Bernie. The only person who calls me Bernard is my wife. <laughs> and even then, only when I've tracked elephant dung into the carpets. <laughs> what? As you know, I own several zoos, but I always like to show people the ropes here at my home. This is the first zoo I ever opened and a source of great pride for me. And pride, thanks to a lion breeding program we ran in the 80s. <laughs> but we're in the middle of a big renovation, and that's where you come in. Sadly, our old contractor had to retire after developing it. a fur allergy. Uh, poor devil kept sneezing his dentures into the lion habitat. So, it's Maybe. up to you to finish everything off. Don't worry, though. I'm not completely throwing you into the deep end. My head Zebras. keeper, Nancy Jones, will wolves. be lending a helping hand. Why, oh, snow wolves? She's a hard worker, and she'll expect Wait, no you snow. to be too. But I'm sure you'll get along like a house on fire, or even better, wow, we <laughs> one that isn't on fire. <laughs> Less shouting that way. 
Hello there. From that rosy, fresh face of yours, I'm guessing you're Bernie's new hire. Good. Now, I hope you're ready to ditch your diploma because we're about to get really hands-on. Okay. But before we begin the real work, how about we familiarize you with the zoo by learning how to fly around it and visiting some of our beautiful animals? Shut up. We'll start by popping over and having a look-see at the grizzly bears. Check, how do I see their dialogue? I know how to move. Did you know that Pushing. grizzly bears, also known as Ursus arctos horribilis, can hibernate for up to seven months a year? <laughs> oh, but then again, lower. given the chance, I think a lot of people would do that too. <laughs> Select one of the bears and you'll bring up its information panel. One of the bears. Should I even see the bears? No, there are no bears. There is n not a single bear. Maybe in the den. Oh, I hear him. Guys, I, you guys heard him, right? Oh, am I, am I right? He's in the fucking tree! I want to GGS see the sea cheetos He's bugged! Actually bugged! What is you doing? Where is the Cheeto? There you are! Hello XQC. I like your extravagant This is where you can shows. find out all kinds Please of information about your animal. Two. The most Katega. important thing Clap. being its overall XQCL. welfare. XQCL. You'll learn more about animal Ever welfare cheetos. today as we go through your objectives. But for now, let's enjoy this magnificent animal. Why don't you select the camera at the bottom of its information panel? See now, Plex this is a fantastic sour, way to get a close sour, look sour, at your animals. Sour, you can sour, also get this view of an animal by simply double-clicking on it. Okay, when you're ready, let's pop over to the other side of the zoo and take a look at the lions. I've marked their location for you to find. Okay. Where's it at? I see it. The lions. Panthera Leo Leo, or the West African lion to you and me. Lions are the most social of the big cats, and there can be as many as 40 lions in a pride, although prides of that size are pretty rare. As Bernie would say, those lions are awesome, which is precisely Shut why up. I handle the training instead these days. Anyway, how about we get started on those objectives? Come on, let's head over to an empty habitat and see what needs doing there. They want to make them fight and whatnot. Empty habitat. So we can choose. As you can see, it's a lovely space for animals, but it's missing a certain something. Well, two somethings. Warthogs. <laughs> so I'd you. like you to adopt a pair of them. To adopt animals, we need to open the animal market, which is in the animal trading section. What is that? Animal trading. There we are, a pair of perfectly splendid warthogs for our zoo. Just click on them and select Adopt from the side menu. Pepe Normally the, the animal cheetah. exchange would be full of animals, but I've emptied out the market while you learn how it works. The Move. last thing I need is you accidentally ordering a dozen elephants. Move. When you adopt an animal, it's automatically placed in the trade center where they're held until you're ready to move them into their habitat. Now they're gonna which, fight? As Can it make happens, them fight? you are. So how about you move them into their new home? When you ask for an animal to be moved into a habitat, your caretakers will go to the trade center, collect your animal, and hey. deliver them to your selected habitat. That's I've a mechanic, yeah. the trade center's location. So let's go and watch the caretakers in action. Oh, we're here. I see it. Well, as you can see, those caretakers don't hang about. They'll move those animals to their destination as fast as possible. 
Of course, normally we'd have to place the animals into quarantine before moving them into a habitat. But hey, I am assured by a person of Your good standing that these warthogs are in the very rudest of health. I hope they right, die on lung let's get the warthogs' habitat way, finished up so we can keep them nice keep and happy. Up, you see, zoo. each animal in the zoo has an overall welfare statistic, basically how happy they are. And oh, that it's overall welfare statistic is itself comprised of four different areas. Nutrition, social health, habitat it's alive, and boys. enrichment. We did it. Luckily, if you select an animal, you'll bring up their animal welfare information panel, which we saw earlier. Oh, he's not happy. You can see how they're doing. That way, you'll know exactly what areas need to be addressed. Don't worry if that's a lot to remember. You can always check the Zoopedia for more information. Oh, no. Let's start by making sure we're taking care of the warthog's nutrition welfare. To do this, we'll need to place a food station and a drinking station. Okay. Now, each animal requires a different type of feeding station. And for the warthogs, it's a small feeding trough. So let's add one of those and a water bowl. Okay, food, food trough over here. Boom. Water bowl large. Animals also require stimulation to keep them happy. Like what? Let's add a lovely mud bath for the warthogs to roll around in. <laughs> that bath will count towards their enrichment welfare, specifically their toy enrichment welfare. A bath. Oh, there you go, buddy. Nice work. You've got a knack for this, I see. Now, our contractor had to leave in a hurry. They're not so using this them, though. in a feral state. Unfinished thingamajigs and what's-its all over the shop. But the first thing we need to finish is the ostrich habitat. It's over near the hippos. What's it at? Did you see it? Over here. Oh, Ostriches. before we actually start building our ostrich habitat, let's pause the game. Just click the pause button in the bottom right corner. I did. Ah. That's more like it. A quick break. Sometimes it's a good idea to pause the game we have whilst you're doing the something tutorial. which requires your concentration. Someone's, someone's over. Because it'll stop the zoo spinning out of control while you're looking the other way. Let's keep the game paused Advice while we get Nancy this ostrich habitat fixed. Fucking annoying. Okay. Job number one here is to add a habitat gate before we complete the barrier. Every habitat needs a habitat okay. gate. Okay, make a gate After then. All, how else would the keepers get in and out? <laughs> Just make sure it's hooked up to the path so the keepers can reach it. How's the right. Oh, there you go. Let's complete the perimeter barrier so we can adopt us some ostriches. I've marked out an area for you to use, so I'd like you to finish off the perimeter using the brick barrier. Good work. Remember, then before you can place animals in any habitat, it has to have a full loop of connected barrier. Now, you've probably noticed that guests can't actually see into this habitat at the moment. At least not without a stepladder. But seeing as they're I'm enjoying banned, this, this, this relaxing, you bitch. piece of barrier and swap out the brick for a glass barrier so the guests can see in. Oh! There we go. Adding in more windows gives guests even more opportunities to see the animals in a habitat. It's always best to make sure the guests can get a good view into a habitat from the path they're walking on. Because it makes them happy. And because this would be a pretty terrible zoo if they couldn't. The last thing we need to do is to last add to a do? donation box. You see, when guests enjoy the view of an animal, they'll make a donation. Just make sure you put them in easy to reach places like near a viewing point. Donation boxes are one of the main sources of income for the zoo, so make sure you remember them. Oh, is there TTS now, with that though? Before we adopt is there the gifts or media share? The play button. After all, if the game's paused, then so are our caretakers, which will make it a bit tricky for them to deliver the ostriches, eh? By the way, as well as pausing the game, you can speed the game up by clicking on the fast forward button. It'll run everything at two times and five times faster. It can be useful, especially if you're waiting for money to accumulate or for animals to be delivered Ooh, to look this, dude. Personally, I use it when I'm waiting happy. for a brew to finish. All right, you've finished the habitat, so it's oh. high time we adopted those ostriches, don't you think? Let's get four of them in here. Four ostriches? Ostriches are fucking boring, though. 
Adopt, 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 adopt. Okay, now we need to move them in here. What that? Um, I forgot. I forgot. Move over here. Move over here. You excuse me, keep up the juice, excuse me. Move over here. Move. While we wait for them to be collected by the caretakers and brought to the habitat, you should get it ready for them. Add a suitable feeding station, water station, and an appropriate food enrichment item. Jesus! It's often best to place things like enrichments and feeding stations near to the habitat perimeter, so guests can get a really good view of the animals. How about over here? Like that? Like that? What else? An enrichment, a slow feeder. Bronze! Oh, good to see the ostriches have somewhere they can really stretch their legs. Did you know they can actually run at 43 miles per hour? Oh, heaven forbid they ever escape. <laughs> the speed camera finds alone would bankrupt us. <laughs> You know what? Well, Bernie certainly seems impressed. Did he do his speed camera joke? <laughs> Every time we get an ostrich. So, now we've made the ostriches' lives a bit That's better. That's a boomer. Let's do the same for the keepers, shall we? To make it easier for the keepers to feed the ostriches and hippos, we should build a new keeper hut. Keeper huts are where the keepers prepare the food for animals, so they should be placed near to the habitats to make sure the keepers don't waste their time walking when they should be looking after the animals. How do I rotate it? You'll need to rotate the keeper hut to get it to connect up to the Shut park. up, I know. This keeper hut only has space for one keeper, but the larger keeper hut can Chat, be how do I see the to prepare food at the same time. Chat, how do I see that oh, Bear in mind, I want Nancy to shut her fucking mouth up. Staff facilities shouldn't be placed near to areas where there are lots of guests. Guests don't like seeing facility buildings, and it can affect their happiness negatively. <laughs> in case that wasn't clear. Something that all facilities, shops, and a whole host of other objects need is power. And that obviously includes your newly built keeper hut. So Thanks let's place a transformer next to it, shall we? Just making my day brighter every stream. Now, the reason everything has gone blue is because you're using the power heat map. This map allows you to see what is and what isn't powered okay. in your Chat. zoo. I'm done with so already. Once you've placed your transformer, you can that, click in the bottom the dialogue left is too to turn long. the heat map off. Can I, can I see the dialogue? Work. Now the keepers can start using the hut to prepare food. And thanks to where you've put it, they won't need to walk very far to deliver it to the ostriches Shut and hippos. Up, lady. Let's get on to your next objective then. Bengal tigers. We want to adopt some, but I'm afraid there's nothing ready for them yet. Okay. Head on over to the plot of land I've marked out. It's not too far away. I see it. Righty, your next job is to build a habitat from scratch. I'm not ADHD. <laughs> And concrete and glass, I expect. So go ahead and build it. Just make sure that the habitat includes that big hole we've dug. Oh, and don't forget to add a habitat gate to the barrier. Okay. Oh, and make sure the guests will be able to see the tigers. Hey, it's yeah, no Nancy. shit, Nancy. Thank you. Ready? I want to put a bunch of glasses. And more glass over here like this. This is pretty lovely, right? And we need to, we need to build a gate. Now, Bernie takes safety QC. very seriously at his zoos, so we should probably make sure those tigers can't jump out of their habitat, don't you think? The way we'll do it is by changing the height of the habitat's barrier. What? Okay then, you should start by double-clicking the habitat barrier, which will take you into barrier editing mode. 
Great. Now, highlight the entire perimeter of the habitat. You can do that by clicking and dragging the barrier selection tool. Now you've got all of the perimeter selected, you can increase the height of it by clicking and dragging the barrier height tool upwards. We did it! You'll want to make sure it reaches a height of at least 3.7 meters. We did it, it's enough. Now that the habitat is in place, don't this forget really good. to put down a donation box near to your viewing areas. Ah, don't know, dude. Uh, it's on the fucking farm, baby. <laughs> Especially as these tigers aren't exactly eating instant noodles for lunch. Yo, what the fuck? Okay, Don't that's know. the habitat boundary complete, the habitat gate in place, and most importantly, the tigers won't be able to jump out of it anymore. I think it's time we adopted those tigers. Don't know, don't know, don't know, don't know. Hey, dude. Hey, it's about a fucking farm, dude! Ten thousand dollars! Whilst our trusty caretakers collect and deliver the tigers, let's take a look at preparing the habitat for their arrival. Guys, it's 10k! We'll start with the basics. Add a suitable feeding station for them. Yeah, dude, no shit. What's that? Food and shelter. Right next to the donos. 14 months poggers. This time, instead of adding a water bowl, let's try something different. Some animals need a pool in their habitat so they can go for a swim. Yeah, we have a pool, but how are we going to find a drink from? All you have to do is make sure the banks of the pool have a gentle slope so they can easily get a nice, refreshing drink. There's already a pool excavated, but you still need to fill it with water. You should do that by going into terrain and selecting the water tool. Where's the terrain? Terrain? Water. Hey, Brian here. Yes, Look, that'll man, do nicely. I already have to deal of course, with just your like the warthogs and ostriches, these tigers will also need some enrichment. Why don't you add oh, some suitable toy and food enrichment to items into their habitat? Guys, I fucked up. Oh, it's back. Wait, what did you say? I don't know what has happened. An enrichment, yeah, but I can't find it. Oh, enrichment. Rubbing pad. And a frozen blood pumpkin. Guys, okay, it's this really is farming starting money. To take shape. Look at this. Now. The tigers will need a shelter in their habitat so they can hide from the guests, or more likely the bad weather. Although, given that we're in England, you might want to think of that just as normal weather. England, of course. Go on, add a shelter to their habitat. You can either build one from various suitable bits and bobs, or if you like, just pop down the blueprint that I've already built for you. Hi, chat and XQC. Nothing to say here, just wanna let you know I love you and chat XQC. Love you, Dad. Guys, this is pretty good, right? Poor Dabs. I'm sure it can't have escaped your attention that the tigers look a bit miffed. That's because they aren't Demolish. too keen on the type of terrain in their habitat. Select a tiger and bring up its information panel. Rightio, nope. click on the terrain tab. Okay, that way you can view the terrain XQCL. information and see how they feel about the different types of terrain. That'll tell you what the tigers need more of or less of in this habitat. You didn't see it? 
keep getting no plant you want some plants people's days better love you chat xqc lxqc lx okay then i'll give him some plants then uh hello the Open the terrain tab. Ups, so might as well sub to you less than three. Love you, Cheeto. Yeah, I just did. Much love XQCL less than three. Okay oh. then. Open the terrain editing tool. Select painting and give them some more soil. Yes, that should help with the habitat part of their welfare. Some soil. Okay. They like a little bit of short grass. Right then. All animals need plants and trees from their own biome or continent. You, you know, desert, savannas, or Asia, Europe, that sort of thing. Thanks, thanks, it looks you. like these tigers need a few more plants in their habitat. Oh no, those are plants in their habitat. Use plants from the rainforest and temperate biomes that are native to Asia. Although if you have to, you can get away with using just one or the other. The tigers will also want a certain amount of their habitat to be covered by those plants. To find out which plants to use and how many, select a tiger and go to the environment tab. That is as complicated as fuck! Yo, where are you going, bruh? Plants. Okay, plants. Now. As you can see, some of the plants currently in the habitat aren't quite right for the tiger, like okay. the wattle bushes. You can remove them if you want. Is on nature? You can find all of the plants you need in the nature section. Jesus, it's complicated. It is to only show the types of plants you want to see. In this case, that's plants from the rainforest or temperate biomes. Oh. Rainforest, where's it at? You didn't even see it? Love you, chat hex, QCL, smile. Tropical. Okay. You put the small bushy. Where's it? Uh, whoa! Not from the same continent as the animal. It says Africa. Oh, like this. I get it. I get it. Turn game speed down, Pepe. Turn game speed down, Pepe. A water bush. Down, Pepe. Turn game speed down, Pepe. Man, these animals are really, really fucking demanding, dude. This is fucking hardcore. Yo. What else do they need? Am I high? Oh, they want four of them. We win! Mm -mm. They say the good fences make good neighbors. I guess that's doubly true when one of the neighbors Fuck, is a Bengal man. tiger. <laughs> Still, those tigers look so happy that I doubt they'd leave. Even if you did poke a hole in their fence. <laughs> <laughs> oh, but for heaven's sake, don't XQC test that theory. Right, let's head over to the Indian peafowls. I've been told that we need to improve their social Chat, welfare. does it ever end? Does it ever end? This is an extended tutorial, dude. Holy shit. Now then. Just find one of the peafowls and select them to open their information panel. Then yeah. we can have a good gander at how they're doing. Although technically, I suppose gandering would just what, be you won't let me. 
Expand their social welfare and we can get One a bit year. more detail. Yeah, plants. Uh, now they've clearly got plenty of space and they're not stressed, but it uh, looks like the social group isn't quite right. So let's so find now they have more. zoomers and boomers. No, Click no, no, no. on the social tab at the top of their information panel. Yeah, they want more boomers. Wrong. Right, as you can see, the peafowlers need this their population like to be larger. To, to solve this little US problem, UC. you'll need to adopt Elon three Elon more female peafowlers. Off Elon you pop score. to the animal market Elon then. Elon Elon yeah, I'm doing Elon it. Elon I'm doing it. Move them over here. Move them over here. Boom. Good work Throw on them. those pea fowls. I expect they'll be delivered soon. But sadly, it sounds like our snow leopard is a bit grumpy. Let's head over there and see what's wrong with her. Chat, is there... You remember when we played, um, Zoo... Zoo... Uh, no, fucking... Um... Roller coaster. Roller coaster, uh, world Just or whatever. Like people people Animals made something that we could download. Stress. Is there something in with this one or not? Right. You know, like when you see someone the put in the milk before the tea bag. The to the in the case of these the snow boogie. leopards, they're a bit stressed by their lack of privacy. You can lower their stress levels by swapping out the normal glass barrier by their cave for one-way glass. Oh, uh, okay. It's not a cheap option, but I think they're worth the expense, don't you? This uh, will give the really. snow leopards somewhere to go when they want to get away from the prying eyes of the guests. Wait, what? Am I just fucking stupid? And then like this, boom. Did they do it? Try hard seven. I don't get it. Wrong area. It's obstructed. Over here! Of course, when an animal isn't in its natural biome, it's probably going to be too hot or too cold. Unsurprisingly for the snow leopards, it's, it's too hot. Open the heat map. Even with the terrible British weather, you should help cool it down by adding some coolers to their habitat. But let's start by opening up the temperature heat map and having a look-see at the temperature in the leopard's a habitat. A look-see. Jesus, dude. A fucking look-see. Thank you. Yeah, I already opened the heat map. As you can see, oh, this. we already have one cooler in there. Let's pop some more down and get as much of the habitat as chilly as we can. Luckily for us, this habitat already has power. But you'll need to make sure okay, that chat, in the I'm future. Okay, Just... Holy shit! Okay, that, 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 we, chat, we did not last long with this game. This was, uh, I think, a world record. We didn't even get that as a tutorial.